Sorry about the light. My little dude who likes to sleep in. Camera's a little blurry. I don't know why. Outfits of the day. For baby. For toddler. And a diaper. Yes, and a diaper. You're right, girl. Diaper, diaper. Wait, wait, can you put that back? going to be 90 degrees outside so I have my hair up and uh, although there's still like postpartum hair loss patches um, it's got to be slicked back because it's going to be so warm today and also we got a wonderful I shared on my Instagram stories we kind of just decided you know considering we don't know what's going to happen but in general we want more kids might as well just get the wonderful now because our mountain buggy do that broke i also posted about that on instagram um a couple of people were like how did you break it how did you break it and it's no fault at all the mountain buggy duet but unfortunately let's just say because we're kind of embarrassed about this that our vehicle snapped it in half um <laughs> great stroller loved it super good for like going over bumps and stuff the wonderful is not really good for going over bumps but if you want to transport more than two kids you're kind of limited in your options so regardless i've been liking it so far for like things such as this we're going to do some laundry and it just fits everything in it you can kind of tell right now that i'm a little bit nervous because we're outside so i'm not speaking very loudly i'm still getting used to vlogging in public it's a little nerve-wracking uh, talking to a camera when anybody can pop up like next to you and see that you're talking to a camera But anyway, we're going to do laundry and one thing about me that I have to tell you all is I love laundromats um, I would have a laundromat machine if I could but they're obviously very, very expensive I don't want the new high-tech like water saving um, front loaders because with three dogs and two little kids, I just feel like our washer gets so broken. So I am loving using uh, laundromats and I would use them more regularly if they weren't so expensive like per load. Um, now it's insane, like per load it's like three or four dollars for just the washing and you have to pay for the drying. But like I mentioned before, because we are traveling, of course that's the only option, but I am not upset with it at all. Love a good laundromat. Look at you guys. 
so cute. I'll help you. Okay, leave. Oh, whoa, you're on this tire. some dishes i am having this i'm obsessed with these now they are so good this is my favorite flavor the kids are having some leftover chicken which is why i have a peaceful moment but 10 percent, we want to give the person a warning so you don't get to that 20 percent threshold also at 10 percent low that tire could be lost in 400 meters turn left do you not care about your family <laughs> i mean that again going back that's one thing that we're always worried about we want the end so the plan was go to go berry picking which we did a couple days ago we filled up this entire bucket at this place called classen farms in chilliwack bc and um it only cost 11 dollars for this entire bucket plus you got wristbands to go to a play area and it was a nice playground and the kids ice cream only costs Four dollars. I guess that's sort of expensive. Four dollars compared to like you know a one dollar McDonald's ice cream. But overall, you can have a twenty dollar adventure when you go there and get a bunch of berries that last like a week uh, or so. But we wanted to replenish our berries. Unfortunately, it was closed. The picking part. I don't know why. Since it's supposed to be open eight to eight, but staffing issues, whatever it is. I also want to touch on what I mentioned in my last vlog about the themed days in terms of homemaking. So this would be what I would consider a D day. And I will, again, like I mentioned in the last vlog, list out all those things of like what each day consists of for me for a homemaking routine. But a D day is outings. So we don't go out every single day. There's nothing wrong with if you do or if you don't. But on D-Days, I try to be very intentional about what we're doing. It's supposed to be 90 degrees, like I also mentioned at the beginning of the vlog. So we are going to take the kids to a movie. My husband is doing something um, for work right now. But when he gets out of that, we're going to go to the movies. And I also have to drop off something at Once Upon a Child and see if they take it. But yeah, I try to make it educational. Of course, we talk about the, you know, berries and we see the cows and we practice our terminology. My oldest is only two, so we don't do that much like homeschooling stuff, even though I am pretty intentional on in, like learning letter sounds, stuff like that. I'm going to ramp it up in the next couple months. But D-Day would be like when I choose, for example, to go to a museum or like even something pretty simple like teaching him how to go to the store and like handle money type of stuff it's like all focused on learning i lost my sunglasses as well so if you see me not exactly looking at the camera when i'm outside and throughout this video it's because my eyes are very sensitive um to the sun but my husband ordered me some new sunglasses that'll hopefully get in the mail today <laughs> I would consider myself a pretty like put together person but when it comes to sunglasses i don't know what it is i just lose them i break them i sit on them i've always not been good with sunglasses and i tried spending more money on nicer sunglasses because i thought you know if it's nicer i will take better care of it no that was just a waste of money we just go for cheap sunglasses the like dollar sunglasses the dollar tree or like the ones i just ordered are eight dollar sunglasses on amazon and the last thing that i want to say in this section of the video is i have been hesitant on vlogging but i saw that i got a pretty good response on my last vlog like i'm not a good enough 
vlogger to make like a super long video but i came to realize from all of your reactions to the video and also some messages and feedback i got in dms is that you all don't really necessarily care if it's like a big production you just like to see what i'm up to so i will be making more of a consistent effort to vlog even if they are just like plain vlogs like these not very much special because I'm happy that it's well received so cute do you want to go back into the movie <laughs> we got a snack since she didn't last in the movie these are really really good you can get them at costco and you can eat so many of them and they're not that bad for you Come on, let's go. Let's go back. So much to fold. Oh, mommy's coming. So tomorrow we are going on more adventures deeper into the woods and the Rockies, which is gonna be a fun time. But I'm just packing this super neat cooler look at that <laughs> it keeps its temperature throughout no and i have drinks what i mentioned in the previous vlog i really like that these are very filling and my kids like them too the boost high protein of course we have coke zero and poppy some waters i pack sandwiches I'm going to bring the kids some Cheerios. Pretty simple stuff. I know I'm talking a lot lately about like things that you can eat for like a lot of for a certain number of calories. I'm going to have to close this. But that is mostly because I am a person who loves food. I'm a foodie. But like I mentioned, I'm trying to, you know, make sure I'm in an ideal weight before my next pregnancy because I'm somebody who gains a lot of weight while pregnant. So you will hear me talking here and there about things that you can eat a lot of that are lower calories or like more filling type of nutrient dense things. So I'm sorry if I'm like a broken record talking about that kind of stuff, but that's where I'm at. Thank you. 